he's a big baby, so most of the day he's trying to lay on my shoulder while riding. Uh, but he definitely does give me company, um, someone to talk to. Uh, well, actually we met, I got a call one afternoon for a confined stray dog that somebody needed to pick up. And when I arrived to the residence, I recognized him from a previous neglect case that I had handled. Um, so at that time, by our ordinances, I made several attempts to contact the owner. Never got any, res uh, any contact back from him. And so after the 10-day hold period, he became the property of Beaufort County. And being that I had already worked previously on a, uh, on a neglect case with him, you know, I just kind of wanted to hold on to him and you know, show him you know, the other side of life, that things could be pretty good. Well, at the time that I actually picked him up, we were already discussing having dogs ride with us, just you know, to have them out, basically give exposure. Uh, to the public, socialize the animals, and also they help sometimes in being able to bring in stray dogs that are afraid of people. Well, I think it's important to, for people to understand that just because a dog has the name of a pit bull doesn't mean it's necessarily a dangerous, bad, or vicious animal. So that's really what my hopes are for to people to realize that a lot of times on calls, or not a lot of times, but sometimes on calls, there are people, adult and children, will take notice to Rocco uh, in my passenger seat and ask if they can come over and pet him. And I, I believe that that exposure and socialization and education is good for the animals as well as for people. I, I've grown up around pits. I've never had any issues with, with pits. Um, there's more breeds of dogs that are more prone to bite and attack than pits. It's just unfortunate that pits are a lot stronger. You know, they have they can do more damage, and I believe that's where a lot of the that's where a lot of the fear and stuff comes from.